all of these reliefs here and I even have some more but what I'm gonna do is give them a treatment of paint and see if I can make them a little bit nicer these left these are the Hellboy casts but I'm gonna start with the reliefs I'm gonna allow this taking this compressor and blowing out all the potential debris. I got from Home Depot. I got this, which is $9. It's gold. We're going to start with the base of a metallic. This is a metallic silver, and this is a metallic kind of like bronze or copper. And this is a, another 24K gold. So it's a little bit different than than this one and these are about two dollars each and i've used these on like three or four reliefs uh per per can so a lot of times you don't even have to go to uh art stores to get the base material so the base material is going to be think of it as like the underlying coat it's kind of going to disappear, but we're going to put things in layers so it looks a little bit better. The thing you're going to need are brushes. These are bristle brushes you can get at Home Depot. Now we have to figure out what we're going to start with. And I have some gold color that I'm probably going to start. Let's start with the Home Depot $2 gold. A lot of it. And I'm going to mix in some water as well. So this is simply just the, uh, the base coat. And you can kind of play around with it. You can actually mix some of the other stuff. We'll do that as a test later on. But I want some solid gold ones to start. This is an acrylic based um, paint. So there are oil ones, there are wax ones. I find that doing this with wax is much better because it's not as toxic and it dries fast so you can get multiple coats you can do these rather quickly but make sure that you kind of get the the edges here like that's one thing you don't want to miss this coat should be on pretty thick but you of course you don't want to lose any of the detail as well so you get over here just kind of make sure that everything underneath has been covered all right one is down you can see the gold and as I go along, you can see I water it down so it's less gold. I have the the bronze on here. This one's going to be a little bit different, but it is a metallics as you can tell. Remember, all of this is going to be hidden there because I'm going to be adding different colors on top. The gold does look pretty good. That's a big difference. Unless it's a total fake story, the pulp light oh, 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 girl on Instagram or something. It's probably honestly some dude. Runs the folks account, who also has another thing on his phone. Now we're gonna do, do the. Uh, okay, so I have all of these sculptures in a varying degree with the um, the first coat, which is the base coat, and now we're gonna put a umber wash on top of it, and it's gonna like tone it down. The idea is that you want to make it so it's transparent. Here we go guys, I applied some um, a very thin coat of umber, it's a um, acrylic burnt umber and I just mix it with water and it was very watery. There's parts I don't like that get uh, very thick, I'm probably going to brush those out. Here's my mix and now I do just a very thin wash, this is the silver of course, 
I don't know how it's going to look like, but the idea is just to kind of like tarnish it and make it a little bit older. Water gets into the little grooves and stuff, so it's uh, much better. So just kind of get around everywhere. Of course, I'm going to do that to all of these. So I have all of these to do. All right, guys, I have most of this all painted up. I did put a umber on the silver and everything. It's still a little bit drying, you know, it's still drying, but I'm going to put a patina. For the patinas, you have to do it a little bit differently. So these are the copper ones. These are the copper and these are the gold. The gold always look pretty good. This is my patina thing. So I have a green and I have a blue and then I'm going to mix it with a little bit white and it's going to be a very watery um, type of layout and I'm going to put plenty onto this cup and I'm going to mix it with some white and that's going to give us some of the highlights especially of the gold it's really going to like like make it pop out we're going to prepare the patina now so I'm going to mix in some blue and I'm mixing it a cup. Usually you should use a plate or something. And now I'm going to mix in equal amounts of green. And that's going to give you like a, a neutral, neutral color. Okay. And from this, we are going to be able to mix in enough for all the sculptures today. Okay. So that's the color. It's a little bit opaque, but it's gonna dry off. You wanna make it nice and liquidy. So we can kind of start by doing this. Just kind of put it all over. Remember, this dries at a different rate. Just kind of put it all over. There we go. Just kind of dab it. And now let's move on to this one. And we can even take some of that, just kind of put it on here. You can make some more green to tone it down, but I kind of, I think this one's fine. Get inside the nose there. Just try to get every single spot. move it without damaging there we go just get to this side so this is the copper just get this side one of the problems is that I think I tend to neglect sometimes because I do this kind of fast some of the areas that you need on the top like that and I think that's good enough. Just get inside the nose here. Hey guys, here is all the sculptures that are drying out. And you can see there's just like varying degrees of the blue stain. Now, you, this is not going to be as blue because we are still going to be putting on another coat. But it's not of paint. It's going to be wax. And after this is really dry we're going to add another coat 